Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, the answer to this video is obviously operator precedence, uh, but I wanted to show you how you can inference through this and figure it out yourself. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so in math, typically when you raise anything to the zeroth power, uh, it's going to be zero. Six raised to the zero is one, or sorry, anything raised to the zero is one. Uh, six raised to the zero is one, you know, big old number raised to the zero, also one. Zero raised to the zero, also one. Um, but if you do negative one raised to the zero in Python, you'll mysteriously get negative one. Uh, and of course, if you put this in parentheses, you'll see that it is actually one because you know, anything, ra anything raised to the zero is still, still one here. Uh, but why does Python you know, do something different here? And the answer to this is this actually isn't a negative one, but it is a different expression. And the way we can visualize that, or the way I like to visualize things, is using a library that I wrote called AST Pretty. Uh, this helps you pretty print the AST so you can understand what's going on. And if we do AST Pretty from Dev Standard, <laughs> this is just a little hack to uh, get the AST from some string. Actually, I went over this this little triple arrow syntax in a different video, so I'll try and remember like that. But we'll probably forget. Uh, and let's just do let's do no show offsets because it'll don't actually care about the line number and column numbers here. We just care about the actual expression here. Okay, cool. So we have a module. Everything that you compile ends up being a module. Uh, you have an expression, which is this expression here. And you'll notice that the expression starts with a unary op. A, a unary operator is something where you take, a, take an operator and it applies to one thing. Normally you deal with like binary operators, like one plus one plus is a binary operator because it has two parts to it. Uh, but a unary operator only has one part. So the way this kind of is being expressionized is there is u sub, which is the, the negative operator. Uh, so it's, it's basically doing this. You have u sub of a bin op, and that bin op is a pow between one and zero. Uh, one raised to the zero is, is one, and so or one, one raised to the zero is one, and negative one is negative one. So that's how it ends up uh, and of course, I showed earlier, if you parenthesize it properly, then you don't have this weirdness. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. Uh, this is how I often figure out exactly what's going on from an operator percent per, an operator precedence perspective. Uh, but hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.